Welcome back to another episode of Amped. This is Red with a K, bringing you the latest in Amplified Minecraft. I'm very glad you boys and girls could join me today. Last episode's title was Full Circle. I thought it was rather funny because we have come back to a cave that we had built before while we were going around the entire mesa. That means that we overshot where we were trying to get to, which was that village. I took a look back at some old footage and I think I have found the coordinates. So we are going to head back in that direction and try and empty our inventory. That is the plan for today's episode. So how are all you cool cats and if you're watching kittens doing here today? Greatly appreciate you joining in. Okay, we need to beeline it that way now. Because we're at about minus 1300, minus 2300, so we're 500 blocks out in the, this direction. I hope you guys all had a fine couple of days. If you watch on a regular basis, you'll notice that I'm putting out a few different kinds of videos. And that is a very good thing. It means that I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this out once a day throughout the week, but it will be, for the most part, once a day still. So you guys just hang in tight with me and come along for the ride. I got the challenge and the hardcore series that I'm doing. I got the the uh, server that I had joined over at DavCraft that I'm doing. And a few more things actually coming down the pipe, which is really nice. It seems that some of the folks out there in YouTube land actually like the red with the K. Oh, dang it, I just walked into a hole. You see this? That's hilarious. F3. F2. <laughs> That's going to be my thumbnail. Okay, let's get back out of this. Now, which way was I going? Dang it, I just walked in circles. So yeah, check out the other stuff on the channel. It's very good, very entertaining, very fun to watch. There we be. And it is all thanks to you, all of my supporters, everybody who is clicking the thumbs up and the subscribes and the likes and the everything along the way. I would not be doing this or be where I am without you guys and your support. I greatly appreciate it. Woo, baby. There we go. So I don't know how I was able to overshoot this last place here. <laughs> I was off by quite a bit. 500 blocks is a heck of a long ways. Let's see. F3 and A. That's right. Load in. Listen to your daddy. <laughs> oh, baby. So I myself, I had a great couple of last days here. Uh, it is currently Wednesday. It is the magic day. Magic day, you say? Yes. Today is hump day. No, I don't mean that kind of hump, you guys. Man, head in the gutter. <laughs> I mean the kind of hump that makes you get over that weekly midway mark and brings you a little bit closer to the Friday. No, really, that is what I mean. <laughs> oh boy oh boy okay hello does it look like I had carved something out of here I must be close to where I had previously been oh splash it there we go so I had spent there we go. I spent the last little while in real life having some time with my daughter and my lady. Hmm. All very familiar to me here. Which way are we going? We are going the wrong way. We need to go this way because we're at about 23 and 13 in the negatives. Uh, yeah, I've been spending some time with my wife and my lady, or my <laughs> my little lady, and where are we going? That way? We want to go that way. What am I doing? I'm getting all twist turned upside down. I'd like to tell y'all a little story about how. Um, 
it is obviously December coming up right now. It is where we are currently. And Christmas time is upon us. So, as we do where I am from, we headed out to the bush on a nice, crisp, clear day. A little bit of frost on the ground in the morning. My father came up from one of the conferences he was in just slightly south of us on the island that I live on in Vancouver here. Came up for the morning, brought some piping hot dark roast coffee with two sugar, which is how I like it if anybody cares. Hopped in the truck, drove out to the bush with my wife and my girl, brought our axe, and chopped us a Christmas tree. Now, this isn't just any old Christmas tree in my living room. I have slightly vaulted ceilings, so this was a eight-foot Christmas tree. A little bit big, but beautiful. We spent the rest of that day decorating it up, making it look very pretty for everybody to enjoy. Put on the lights, did the cranberry strings. A little bit of popcorn, a tradition in my personal family. And instead of an angel on top, my wife's family has a tradition to use an origami doll. Because my wife is of the Japanese descent and her family. Sorry, concentrating, trying not to fall here. And that was a beautiful, wonderful time that we had. It was very nice to be out. I'm from a place where it rains all winter. That is what... Oh, that's it. Come here. That's what winter is all about. It's rain, 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 clouds, and more rain. Let's see if we can make it without sleeping here. We're kind of off that way. And this fall, leading up to wintertime, has been ex exceptionally good weather. It has been dry and it has been beautiful. Which meaning it has been clear, it has been slightly chilly, we very rarely get snow where I am from here uh, in Canada. And which I know, I know, for most people that's a contradiction. They say, what? You don't get snow in Canada? No, most of Canada does get snow. Where I am from, we do not. Okay, okay, time to take down. Come here, come here. You, my friend, are going down into the town. Take this stuff out of here. Think you can pick on me like that? Come here. I will clear my path, is what I will do. Come here, you too. Come on. Shovel me, Timbers. Yep, you want some? You can have some. Take it all from the red. Okay, we need to go a little bit this way, and a whole lot that way. So yeah, we clambered out into the bush, we walked on a fine sunny day into the trees, we grabbed our axe, we chopped it down, it took a lot of picking. Uh, my lady is, I wouldn't say picky about that kind of thing, but she wants it to be perfect for the family, and that is perfectly fine by me. So we looked at one, we looked at two, we looked at 937,221 and a half trees, and we went back to the first one we looked at in the first place. And ain't that the way, man. And I love her for it. <laughs> However, we got that tree, we packed it in the back of the truck, we got a home, we set it up, and it looks very, very beautiful now. We got the decorations out because I only have one rule, December 1st. Please wait. No music. <laughs> no Christmas. Ooh, baby. Can we get down anywhere here? Alright, we're doing this the easy way. Blip. That's my one rule about Christmas time. Please, December 1st. I love Christmas, I love doing the stuff, I love having the family, I love everything to do with it, except for, like we talked about before, the commercial stuff. But I do not like doing it for two and a half months. I like doing it for 
five days, so I compromised and I let my lady do it for a month. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're just up and around and through this little place and should be our village. Come on. You want a little bit of this? Bring it. There would be... You, stay back there. I don't like you. Man alive, we gotta get up and over and around this thing. This is just the craziest terrain to navigate, my goodness gracious. But our stockings are hung with care now, and our decorations are up here and there. We have the Christmas carols going and blasting away. And everybody is happy in our home. So I hope that you folks, if it is something that you do, celebrate the holiday seasons. I hope you folks are getting close to getting that done. Now don't get me wrong, I have done almost, oh, I'd say one and a half percent of my shopping. But don't worry, don't worry. I still got 20 days left. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Well, here we go. Do it the old fashioned way. But I have got the important shopping out of the way. We got our turkey. That is A1, number one, most important. We got my special bottle of scotch that I like to have over the holiday time and share with my loved ones. What? 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 You creeping on me? Following me on Twitter like that, silly. Okay, so we're still heading in that direction, but I am going to go do it down in a place where it's a little bit easier to navigate. We're back over the top of this mountain here, so let's get down to the savanna. And of course I got my beers, my standard mouth wetting devices for the holiday season as well. I tend to drink different beer for some reason over the holidays, and I'm not sure why, than I normally would drink on a normal day. There we go. Sorry, concentrating, trying not to die in this crazy, crazy world <laughs> we live in here. Woo! Hey, I know this place. There's that place right there. So we're about 300 blocks in that direction, I guess. Okay, don't fail me now, boys. There we go. This time it worked a whole lot better. But I have got all the important stuff out of the way. My daughter will be happy. My lady will be happy. I need to buy something for my mother and my father. I still have both of them alive, which is a very good thing. Unless they're over visiting, then it is a very annoying thing. But I love them to death. <laughs> and I'm very lucky to have them around. But try and find something that... Try and buy something for old people. Now, they're not ancient or nothing. They ain't all crippled up and old and decrepit. You know, they still ride their Harleys, and they still have a good time. But at that age, most people have most things that they have ever needed or wanted. So try and find something to buy these guys that, that would be nice. Hey guys, look what I got you. Be happy about it. You know what? I think we just solved our problems, ladies and gentlemen. I think we just solved our problem. Do you see what I'm seeing? I th Stay away. That is standing lava. And you want to know something? It's right beside the village, which is on the other side of that mountain. Can you believe that? Now, I thought we were in negative 23. Maybe it's not on the other side of that mountain. Maybe I checked the wrong coordinates. Oh, dang nabbers.
No, that is the cave. That is the spawner. So we are actually very close. Okay, I had to get my bearings just a wee tiddly tiny bit here. But I cannot for the life of me ever, 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 ever think of anything to buy my parents. It is probably the hardest thing in the whole entire world to do regarding gifts. Now, of course, they're happy with just my love and just my caring and just my anything else that has to go on. But at the same time, I would like to put something in their stocking just to let them know that I've been thinking about them. Yes, that is the spawner that I had showed in a previous episode. So we are going up and over and around in the village that our home is, is just over there. Yes, we are making it. So those of you who have any suggestions, who have parents who buy for elderly people, they're in their oh, late 50s. My father will be 60 in January. So late 50s, just, just touching on 60. What do you get these guys? What do you get somebody in that age range? Hello, I missed you. I missed you all very much. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. For those of you who have joined since I have left on my journey from this village, this is home. I found this village. It has 197,000 testificates in it and about 42 million houses. It's the biggest village I ever found in a desert ever anywhere. And we made it our home. So this is our home here. Oh, I am happy to see you. I do not have a door because the testificates then come in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. Damn it. <laughs> but when they come in and out, they open the door and that's the annoying part. I don't mind if they come in to give me a visit and a hello and a hug. And uh, I am not at jeopardy of creepers coming by or zombies or anything because I built a giant wall as you see over there around the entire village so nothing can get in or out and I lit the whole thing up. So there's a little bit of ketchup for you. Whew. So here we are back in the good land. <laughs> that was a long walk around that place and I am very happy that we did it. We did it together. We did not find any lava and I learned something along the way. I learned that there are very 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 little caves in a mesa. I learned that in fact that they rarely spawn in a mesa in the cove. So, that means that if we're going to look for a standing pool of lava like the one we saw just around the corner, close to our home, then that's where we've got to get some obsidian is outside of that biome. But it was sure fun adventuring through there and looking at some of that landscape. I actually did find a place I think I might settle down and make my actual home. Just a little ways away, in fact, where the savanna meets, the mesa meets partly the desert. It looked like a very beautiful little place there with some very wonderful um, scenery and very tall cliffs and waterfalls and lava falls and all the good stuff we love to see. So what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to organize my inventory, I'm going to get everything together, maybe make a few more chests and I will uh, yeah, get everything ready so that we can go get that obsidian. That will be our goal in the next episode, is to go to the lava, dump the water on, get the obsidian, make our ender chests, and then we can travel a little bit more in style. So until such a time, I greatly appreciate you boys and girls and cats and kittens giving me the time to watch this lovely stuff. Look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. See ya!